Hello everyone, Jer- What in the world? Jared here, what? Okay, I think we're good this time. Hello everyone, Jared here with Wada the Nation's Rage. I hope everyone's doing well, and a happy Thanksgiving to you. Now, this is just a catching up vlog. Um, it's actually also an in-between things vlog, but most of all, it's an update vlog. Uh, it's been a long time, you guys. It's been much, much too long. The last time I made a vlog was about four months ago. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It should be up on my channel. Um, and I've, I've had my reasons for not uploading uh, videos to YouTube. However, I think the time has finally come uh, that I can start to come back to YouTube slowly uh, and do certain videos. I, I, I won't be doing as broad of a spectrum of videos as I once did for the time being. And for that reason, I'm not going to be uploading as many videos right now but I do want to come back I miss making videos and you know I just I don't feel right unless I'm making some kind of video or creating something so tomorrow I'm planning on making a Thanksgiving vlog uh, kinda like I did last year with my family uh, at my mother's house just basically uh, pointing the camera at each member of my family and having them say something about Thanksgiving or what they're thankful for. And I enjoyed making that vlog. I'd like to do it again. So stay tuned for that. Look forward to that if you're interested. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff I want to catch up on, though. Uh, there's one important thing that's, that's probably the most important, and that is uh, that I, I do have another YouTube channel at this point. Now, it's probably not what you're thinking. It really has nothing to do with me, uh, per se, other than the fact that I am the one that films, edits, and uploads the videos to this channel. It is Tabernacle of Praise, Mansfield, Georgia. It is uh, just videos uploaded to YouTube, videos of church services, from the church that I go to, that I attend. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll provide the link to the, the main page for Tabernacle of Praise on YouTube for you to go and check that out. There are different playlists on this channel. There is a playlist for full sermons, full church services. But if, you, uh, if you're not interested or you simply don't have time to watch a video of a full service I have provided additional channels one is simply uh, channels of uh, one is simply videos of the choir uh, performing different songs and each song is its own specific video another playlist on the channel is sermons so if you want to hear a sermon that you know you want to hear the sermon but you don't want to watch the entire service you simply go to the the sermon playlist and you can watch the sermon or same thing with with the choir like i said if you just want to hear a performance uh, a rendition of a certain worship song you can go to the choir playlist and check out <clears throat> the videos that i've gotten of the choir at tabernacle of praise um, there are different ways to get to the channel. If you simply search in the, the search bar on YouTube, if you put in Tabernacle of Praise, Mansfield, Georgia, it will come up. Uh, you might have to look for it a little bit because there are so many Tabernacle of Praise churches on YouTube. We're not the only one, but we are the only one in Mansfield, Georgia. So if you add Manfield, Mansfield, Georgia to Tabernacle of Praise in your search, you'll have a better time finding it, an easier time finding it. Uh, unfortunately, the channel does not have 
its own custom URL like my YouTube channel has. So you can't really search in, in your main search engine on your browser to find the, uh, the YouTube channel. But I will provide the link in this video and that's just the easiest way to get there. Uh, just look in the description on this video, click the link and it'll take you to the Tabernacle of Praise main, main page on, the, on their channel. So, uh, other than that, I wanted to give you an update on my life, what's new, you know, what's no longer relevant, uh, how I'm doing, how my family's doing, and such. Um, first of all, I'll give you an update on my knee. Now, the last time you saw me, I was telling you that I was about to have an ACL reconstructive surgery. Well, that did happen. That happened in August, the first week of August. And I'm still recovering. I'm in uh, physical therapy. I've been in physical therapy nonstop since that point in time. I've gotten a lot of my strength back. However, they're telling me that my my leg is still pretty weak, and that I need to uh, c uh, continue to gain strength in my leg. Now, I'm having issues with that because of the meniscectomy that I had in my leg, in, in my knee. You know, they took out the, the medial meniscus. I know you guys, if, if you've watched any of my vlogs, you're tired of hearing me whine about my knee. Um, but that, that's really what's holding me back. Uh, and my doctor and I were working on alternatives, things that I can do about this to prevent from the doctor having to do a premature partial knee replacement on my knee. Uh, one of those things is called a medial unloader brace. And he's trying to get the insurance company to uh, approve and pay for this brace. It's not easy though because it's, it's about $700. It's very expensive. Uh, most knee braces are very expensive. And it's just simply for the fact that they work. Uh, they do what they say that they do. And I feel that if I were to get this particular brace, it would help. And I'll just, I'll explain, kind of explain by showing you my knee. I'll kind of explain what this brace does. But basically, uh, it goes around your entire joint. And on the inside of the brace, there's there's some kind of a stiff bar it might be made out of fiberglass or something i'm really not sure but what it does is it it connects from the bottom to the top and it's stiff and most i'm not sure exactly how it works but i know that it has to do with a straight bar being on the inside of your knee and basically what it does is it takes the load off of the side of your knee where you're missing the meniscus. There's probably a lateral unloader brace just like there's a medial unloader brace. And what that'll do is it will basically take all the pressure off of this part of my knee where the pain's coming from. It's it's coming from, from pressure from it being bone on bone. Uh, me having no cartilage there anymore because they took the cartilage out. And I feel like if I were to uh, to get this brace, it would have a major, massive uh, effect on how I recover from, from here on out. I think I'm kind of at a plateau at this point as far as getting any stronger, my leg getting any stronger. And it's just simply because the, the portion of my knee that's missing is preventing me from, from being able to work any harder at strengthening my quadriceps in my leg and you know it's just your knee was not designed to to work uh, and, and function properly without each part that that a knee joint contains each part is essential each part is very important it, ha it plays a very important role and when you remove an essential part of you know, your, especially your knee joint, which is supposed to be the strongest joint in your body that bears the full load of your entire body. When you remove an essential part of it, it's going to mechanically fail 
over time. And that's how osteoarthritis sets in. So I think that, you know, <clears throat> if they'll just approve this brace, if they'll get this brace, I can, I can get it, I can wear it, I can especially wear it at physical therapy, and it will assist greatly in me getting the strength back in my leg. And the stronger my leg is, my doctor says the stronger my leg is, the better off I'm going to be the more I'm going to recover, the closer I'll, the state that I'm in will be closer to what it was before the entire injury ever happened. Uh, the only other thing that we, that he can do at this point is a, a partial knee replacement. And he said that he's not going to do that right now because I'm only 30 and it just wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense to replace my knee, especially at this point, because there's, yet to be any uh, deformities in the bones themselves. So the arthritis is in an early stage. It's just setting in. And now it would be the best time for me to get a brace like this. But anyway, I, I know you guys are tired of hearing about my knee, so I'm not going to talk any more about that. But I do want to give you another update on my family, uh, specifically my wife. Uh, she is about to graduate from the nursing program she's about to get her LPN and she will be going to work as a nurse and I just want to say that I'm very proud of her my wife has worked her tail off this past year not only with this nursing program which is very challenging very difficult even for people that you know are are exceeding in the academic area would it be challenging but the fact that she has juggled school and you know her life at home uh, taking care of a two-year-old taking care of me <laughs> when I've had surgeries and you know I know that's not easy to deal with I know I'm not easy to deal with whenever whenever I'm coming out of surgery or even you know each each time I come home from therapy or something like that and I'm I'm in pain and you know, I can get kind of whiny about it after a while, but she has stuck to it. She, uh, she's been doing really well in the, the entirety of the whole year that she's gone to school for this. And, you know, it just, it proves to me that she's faithful. She's determined. She doesn't give up easily. Um, she's very strong willed, you know. She's a very strong person, and I'm very proud of her for what she's done this past year. She literally, she's just almost worked herself into the ground. And, you know, I'm thankful and blessed to have her as a wife. You know, she's taught me several things about life and about integrity and strength and not giving up. So a lot of this process of me healing has been motivated a lot of the motivation has come from her and just seeing how she deals with life and the challenges of life so I just want to tell her I want to tell you Christina that I'm very proud of you and I love you and I'm honored to be your husband and I'm very thankful to have you in my life to have you as a wife so, enough of the mushy, uh, tear-jerking stuff. That that pretty much covers everything that I wanted to say, I, I think. Uh, <clears throat> I did upload two uh, public videos recently on my channel, but they don't really have anything to do with my channel. Uh, one was a video that I promised over the summer that I would upload when the time came for me to stop taking Tramadol for pain, I promised uh, the people that watched the, the original opiate withdrawal video that I would let them know how Kratom has worked for me. So I made a video about that. I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but if you're interested, check out that video. You'll find it on my channel. Uh, as well as another video that I'm not even in, uh, my friend Matt, that everybody should know if, if you're familiar with my videos has 
made a recent trip to Tokyo, Japan, and that whole thing <clears throat> was originally supposed to be a trip to Thailand that he went on with some people from his church. And he shot some video of it, and we got together, we edited the video, we uploaded it. It's a very entertaining video. If you haven't watched it yet, then I recommend that you watch it. It's very funny, very entertaining, very interesting. Um, I've never been out of this country, so I was really excited to watch what he got. And it's pretty good. So check that out if you haven't yet. It's called uh, Matt's Adventure to Tokyo. Or I'm, This is embarrassing. I don't even know what a video on my channel is called. Uh... I think it's Matt's Tokyo Adventure or something like that. You'll see it. You'll see it on the the uh, playlist on my channel. So check that out if you're interested. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow when I do my Thanksgiving vlog. But I thank you for watching. I appreciate your interest in my channel. Um, I will slowly start to come back, as I said. Uh, I don't want to do too many videos like this because they're they're not <clears throat> they're not anything to be considered as entertainment they're not you know how amusing am I sitting here talking to you so I just I don't want to do too many vlog videos like this but I will try to be creative and constructive and come up with something that I can film right now and upload so I'll see you guys tomorrow as I said and thank you thank you for watching I appreciate it stay tuned I'll see you guys later bye bye